Ah, good morning YouTube. So, it's a cold, frosty, slightly foggy morning actually in Pershaw. I thought I'd uh, quickly pop down to my uh, local river, which is the River Raven, and have a, a little walk at the riverside and see if I can find any decent compositions or photographs to take um, as the sun rises. Because we had a, a really cold and quite wet night last night, um, I wasn't really expecting much for this morning, but uh, the skies have cleared considering that they were really overcast and heavy laden with uh, rain clouds yesterday evening. This morning it's broken, uh, quite a bit of blue above me. It's not long before the sunrise I don't think. But as you can see from the river, uh, the radiation fog is lifting as the, uh, the water temperature is greater than the, uh, the land or the air temperature. So it's nice to see it. Uh, <coughs> it's very, uh, very pretty to look at. I'm still trying to find a suitable location to, uh, to do some photos from though. In fact, I think I might just be coming up to something now, which might look quite nice. A corner of a river, a bend in the river, what do you reckon? Could that work? Quite possibly. Got a little bit of time, I think around about 10-15 minutes before sunrise itself, which is around about uh, 20 past 6. It's only around about uh, 10 past 6 at the moment, so I've got 5 or 10 minutes. That reflection, I'm looking at a nice reflection in the water. Let me spin you guys around so you can take a look as well, see what you reckon. So that's a reflection there. It looks quite nice. I'm gonna try and shoot that, I think, into the uh, into the rising sun, and let's see what happens. A nice bit of cloud formation at the top there. A nice bit of pattern. It's broken up, so there's a bit of uh, bit of blue, bit of lighter pinks down lower. I think that could work quite nicely. I just uh, yeah, I think I'll shoot that. So as you can see behind me, the mist on the water surface is starting to lift and it's all looking rather nice. But uh, I think I'm going to take a couple more shots before the, the actual sunlight breaks completely and uh, changes this scene forever. Okay, so I'm making my way up the uh, side of the river. I'm just looking for another suitable composition for today's photos. Uh, the sun is now rising really nicely and it's capturing some lovely pinks and oranges and salmon colour in the sky above me. And it looks really, really quite nice. If truth be told, I actually overslept this morning and uh, I'm now scrabbling around for compositions and to find something to shoot before the sunrise. I think I've uh, might have gone and left this a little bit too late, but we shall see. Oh, ducks. Yeah, the sun is rising directly in front of me. I'm just looking for a suitable composition to shoot with. 
there's a lot of uh, bulrushes around the edge of the river here and there's some nesting swans as well which I really don't want to uh, disturb at all if I can help it there's literally just one straight over there about 15 foot from me just to my right now oh dear but that uh, sunlight that warmth of that sun is definitely uh, building but at the same time the fog on the landscape or the mist on the landscape is lifting as well and uh, I'm losing the very element I was uh, counting on to help and help improve the scene and, and, the, and the, the location um, and there's not a photographer out there who doesn't like a bit of mist or fog to help with their images <laughs> Unfortunately, at this point, I realised it was too late. The sun had completely cleared the horizon. The warm oranges and pinks of the morning light were replaced with a beautiful golden hue that caught the lingering mist in its last hurrah. Realising that I had missed my opportunity to make the best of the light and capture the landscape images I had set out for, I decided to use what light there was. Shooting into the bright sunlight, I could capture the mood of the morning's walk and the river reeds in silhouette. Doing so, it would afford me some time and allow the sun to climb higher in the sky and then offer me a second chance of shooting back down the length of the Avon, back towards my hometown and the iconic Pershaw Abbey that dominates the skyline for miles around. Okay, so I'm looking back down the River Avon back into my hometown of Pershaw and uh, the central point of Pershaw is, uh, is Pershaw Abbey. Um, it's been around for a few years. Um, I think the way I'm looking at it now, I've got the river leading into it. Beyond that, I've got a little bit of mist and fog on the water surface, a few more bushes and trees, and then I've got Pershaw Abbey just sticking up out of the foliage in the, in the distance and out of the tree line. And I think that looks quite nice. So guys, thanks so much for joining me today on my little walk down by the river. I hope you've enjoyed the images I've produced, and if you have done, please give me a like and subscribe. It goes a long way to promoting my little channel on YouTube. So until the next time, guys, once again, thanks very much for joining me today, and I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ra.